Welcome back to Dave and Audrey Does Outdoors. Um, we're gonna we're gonna do a quick review. Um, anyone new to the channel, but this is Audrey. Um, she's my little um, companion up the hills and doing my outdoor stuff. She's a great wee dog. She's almost five. She's a Jackadoodle. Um, great wee temperament. Pretty hardy. So we're gonna we're gonna review the Thermarest trekker chair but before we do that um, on my last video which is um, Summit Solo Su Munro Summit um, I noticed because I use an old GoPro I can't see what I film so I don't have a screen so I'm always just trying to kind of guess where the lens is actually kind of sort of focusing um, so at some point I'll probably upgrade and get a get something that I can actually see what I'm, I'm filming so I can frame it. So when I was up on the hill, um, my sister had given me um, some Kendall mint cake um, and I had a couple of big chunks of this on the last bit going up the Monroe and then when I was editing the, 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 the footage um, there was it was really white and because it's an old GoPro um, it's a Hero 4 that I use so it's really old but it picks up bright white um, really really well so it, lo it looked like I was kind of frothing at the mouth so apologies that that had been a big slab of mint cake just before I got to the summit of the Monroe um, so apologies for that I'll need to take a bit more care um, so anyway, back to back to the review. The, the Thermarest um, Trekker chair. Um, I got this one um, second hand off eBay. They're about anything anything between thirty and forty pounds. Um, com comes in a, a really nice little sleeve with a with a couple little um, finger straps on each side, um, so you can you can get it in really easy into this little sleeve um, and the good thing about the Thermarest Trekker chair is that it utilises your Thermarest mat so the rationale being that you're taking the mat with you anyway and all you need to do is carry this I, I, I don't know the specs this is light super light it's it's only got it's got four um, small rods um, two that stiffen the back and two that stiffen the the chair um, so it goes like this so you have two rods in the back and two rods on the on the sort of bottom of the chair um, and all you do is you inflate your mat not fully um, and you slot the back into this piece the upper back piece and then you slot the rest through this sleeve here then you clip the side arms down which gives you the back rest and then you've got um, a little strap that goes across the middle of the mat keeping it in place super light easy to carry and as you can see from the the Monroe um, video that I put up really comfortable it's I've only used it three or four times um, so I'm going to get more use of it out of the summer but because it's so light it doesn't take up any space in your rucksack um, and really good for in your tent so that was just last week it was really cold particularly in the morning when I woke up um, the wind at the summit of a Monroe even in June in Scotland it can get I mean not freezing but the chill factor was probably you know it was it was proper cold so I ended up needing to put on all my layers so getting back into the shelter of your tent um, is, is really vital. So what I'll do is I'll inflate my, my Thermarest. This is the Neo Air um, Thermarest. It's got a really good R rating. Um, so this 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 can this is a winter um, temperature air mat by Thermarest. It's not a large one, so if anything. The only criticism I'd make of this is that it's quite narrow, but as it is, it's quite a big, bulky, 
heavy, heavy-ish piece in your rucksack. So to, to reduce bulk, I went for just a standard size mat. Um, and because I'm a side sleeper, it's okay, but I've seen quite a lot of the guys on YouTube with like XLs or 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 a lot. I mean that, and they're proper sort of this wide. This this one's, as you can see, um, it's that wide. Um, so it's it, whereas an an XL, you're probably getting an extra five or six inches, um, but then you're carrying more weight and it's bulkier. So I, I don't know. Um, certainly, maybe in the future, if I were to change that, I might try a bigger mat. Um, but again, I think the bigger mat would struggle to go into the trekker chair. So I'll inflate that a little bit and I'll I'll probably put it in. Um, I'll show you how much I inflate, I'll put it in. Because to be honest with you, I don't, I don't think a larger um, air mat would fit in this. Now they may come in a bigger size, I'm not sure. Um, so that's one advantage. Another advantage of having a slightly smaller mat. But I absolutely rate this for for £40. Pound, um, it's pretty bulletproof. On the on the back, they've reinforced this little piece, um, which is which is the hinge be 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 between the back and the ground. It's reinforced. Um, the stitching's solid. The the fabric, the material. I mean, Thermarest. As we know, they've specialised in materials um, and technologies um, for for years and years. Cordura is probably the material, so it's almost like a strong tent um, fabric that they've used. Um, so I'll stop gibbering and I'll inflate the mat a little bit and I'll get you back in a second or two. The Neo Air comes with that little um pump it takes i think it's one battery one um i think it's a triple a so um again I've, I've i've taken that up on most hills because you can you can set it like that and um, apologies for the noise if the microphone's picking it up quite a lot um you can set it up like that whilst you're organizing your tent and um, i guess it's a bit of laziness but for me it's about <coughs> trying to reduce the amount of moisture that you're putting into the bag although Thermarest don't reckon that there's, it makes really much difference because the bag, the, the air mat will dry out um, anyway if it's outside or in the sun or there's a bit of heat they, they, they get kept inside so it doesn't seem to be an issue with um, moisture or condensation inside the, the air mat so so again that's just, that's just a couple of minutes not even that, a minute and it fills up. So again, I could I could probably do a bit more of an in-depth review on the air mat, um, but I thought I'd just sort of talk a little bit about it. It's been a really good mat. Again, the materials um, are are really strong. Um, so far, so good. The problem with the air mats is that if you get a fault, um, if they spring a leak, um, and you're away up on a mountain. It's, it's a bit of a tricky one, um, but I've got patches, so my idea would be that I'd try and repair it when, when you're up there um, with a decent patch. i got some vinyl patches that I carry with me, um, so, but yeah, I'll just, that's almost it. I mean, it's, so it's not, I'm going to stop it at that. I've only put a smallish amount of air in that because when you when you start to fold it like this, you can see how it inflates. So it, it only takes a, f a few puffs um, to to fill up, um, and it doesn't really matter how you do this. So probably I haven't yet. I've, I never even looked at the instructions. Um, so you're you're popping the back in like that. You might I might need to put a bit more air in it. We'll try it like this. So that's your first piece like this, and then you simply take the other two pieces and you're folding it through here, which is the 
the kind of base piece like so and um, couldn't be much easier than that as you can see and then your as you can see it didn't look like much air but in actual fact it's, it's going to probably be too much but and then that just goes across the centre which holds it in place and then you've got your side arms so when you, when you start to fold this up the side arms click into place here and here like that hopefully you're picking this up like that um, and that's you I'll take it out onto the grass and show you in, in use but I mean that's that's it um, it really lightweight it seems durable I got this second hand I don't know how old it was um, but it was it was in really good nick um, and you can see so the the back you know it's got the little um, reinforced sections on the, the actual kind of spine if you like so we've got the a little pole and a little pole section um, running through um, not much more to it than that so basically that's it Oops, come. so as you can see it, it's, it's actually you'd think it would be sort of soft and pliable but in actual fact it's, it's really quite supportive and firm um, so I've only used it, this is about my sort of third or fourth time and you, you, like anything with a wee bit of practice you get you get used to it um, so it's absolutely, it's brilliant, it really is good it kind of it looks quite sort of flat but when you when you put your pressure on it um, it really is supportive and the good thing about the Thermarest because it's got the reflective um, insulation layers inside it it's really warm to sit on um, so you can actually feel your body heat being radiated um, out of out of the, the base and your back um, so really simple design I mean a 10 out of 10 for Thermarest for, for, for the design um, and as you can see I mean the, the SCARP 1 um, that, that, that we're using it's, it's a wee bit it's a wee bit um, height wise you can you can sit on this okay but but anyone with a scarf and you, you can see from from my last video there, there's not much kind of room to move about it's a small um, one person you know four season mountain tent really um, it's not um, it's not got much space but if you had a, a bigger I mean I'm, if I end up doing maybe the West Highland Way or something I'll probably get a, a Lanshan loads of space so you could you could be sitting in this with oodles of space um but this is this is nice and especially in the scarp you can just stick your legs out and, and and just get comfortable and have a bit of a view so yeah really good little chair um and probably the lightest to carry about which was a real feature that i wanted to um capture because my bag is far too heavy as you've seen it's, it's normally about 20 kg which is um, crazy, crazy weight. So, and then dismantling it is exactly the opposite way. So you're just taking the little cross strapping off. You're taking the, the back, this strap which goes over the waist off. Um, really easy just to slide out of the top piece, slide out from the bottom piece, and then you would inflate that go to go to sleep and then you're left with this fold, folds in on itself and um, and then you can roll it up just really you know the kind of poles roll up on itself like so I tend to just kind of sort of wind a, wind a couple of straps around um, like so and again You've got this really handy little um, bag 
with a couple of nice little pull ups on each side slots in really nicely it's just a really good design um, and weighs I don't know how many grams I would get I don't know I'm not good at guessing weights I'm not gonna but it's super light there's there's virtually no weight in that because it's just got four poles and a little bit so I'm so impressed so that's it and I can just slot in your rucksack on the outside of your rucksack um, I'm not sponsored by the way by, by, by Thermarest or, or anyone this is just a, an honest review of something that I really really um, totally appreciate and value so just a little really quick little look at the Thermarest Trekker chair um, today and I really wanted to give you an explanation for the the, the white mouth from my previous videos <laughs> never never a good look but um, keeping it real so again thanks for joining me um, today if you're new to the channel um, it's mainly outdoor stuff it's mainly me and the dog um, we've got a few things planned for the summer we've got a wee inflatable kayak that I'm going to be getting out and about um, more tent nights probably more hammock nights so and the schools are about to go on holiday at the end of this week which is fantastic everyone's needing a bit of a break it's been an absolute nightmare for a lot of the school kids some of the classes have been off people have been isolated and it's the usual um covid way so it's been really tough so i'm hoping everyone at home is looking forward to having some time off and the kids the kids deserve it really do deserve some proper time off so and we're gonna have some nice time as well so um, thanks again for tuning in and um, remember to give me a wee thumbs up and a subscribe if you've not and um, share if you want as well I'm almost at 400 followers which is absolutely fantastic um, it was really nice Richard Outdoors gave me a shout out um, which which is fantastic he, he's he's a bit of a, a YouTube celebrity um, so, so I, I aspire to a lot of my, my peers like Richard and um, so really nice to, to get a wee shout out and, and, and a few of you have joined since then which is much much appreciated so yeah thanks again for, for tuning in um, we really enjoy spending time with you guys at home hopefully you've enjoyed that today a little look at the trekker chair so um, till the next time take care